What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford rips into some two noticeable YouTube channels, Fanon and Boxing Ego. He says, quote, at Fanon Boxing and at Boxing Ego, both some hoes, and they mamas should have swallowed them both. I'll tell both of them to their face too. They buy biggest sack hangers and I'm done talking about it. <laughs> like Mike Tyson. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? And Fanon, he tries to uh, reply in, you know, uh, kill him with kindness type of reply. He says, stay blessed, champ. I wish nothing but the best to you and yours. Crawford says, uh, no, you don't. Stop the cap for the media. All you do is lie and hate on me. You a sucker. Those are the words of... <laughs> Terrence Crawford, Boxing Ego, and really Fanon. To be fair, I haven't heard anything from Boxing Ego. He's probably going to do a live about it and get all types of super chats and all that type of shit. Um, but at, some, at a certain point, you know, you as a fighter that has the type of pedigree, that has the type of accolades that Terrence Crawford has, that's done what he's done in the sport, you get tired of being tore down by bigger channels like that. Fanon over 100K. Boxing Ego over or whatever. Because, you know, we don't really know about him. But he's been around for a while. Okay. So, if they keep talking shit, half-ass, you know, fat-mouthing Terrence Crawford. Yes, I said fat-mouthing. You know why? Because they pander to the audience that they are around. Okay, if they if his audience loved Terrence Crawford, he would make more Terrence Crawford videos. It's just what it is. Those guys pander and they cling to a certain audience. Okay, and that's how they do it. You know, Al Heyman, he can't do no wrong. He's he's sitting there, you know, turning down hundreds of millions of dollars for his fighter and you know what I mean? Like 25 for Errol Spence, 100 million for, for Deontay Wilder. So you're doing all these type of things, but, you know, that gets swept under the rug, right? It's all Terrence Crawford's fault. This fight has been in the works for five fucking years, okay? And all Boxing Ego and uh, company has done is hate on him. Blue Blood had to turn a blind. He had to turn, uh, a, 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 he had to turn around and really realize that, hey, this ain't Terrence's fault, Okay? Fred from Barbershop Conversations. Look, people are starting to wake up in the YouTube boxing community. If you're LDBC or whatever the hell you claim to be. So people are waking up. And Terrence Crawford is waking people up. Terrence Crawford's like, look, Errol Spence don't want to fight nobody. He's even moving the 154. If that don't tell you anything else, I don't know what will. You know what I mean? So, but those guys eventually are going to get ripped into. They're going to get ripped into because they should because Terrence Crawford's like, look, you represent boxing and you are doing videos about me, but you're you're sending lies to the media. And it doesn't matter what Terrence Crawford says. It doesn't matter what really goes on. These channels like he was spitting at will have something negative to say. It will never be anything positive. I counterpunched a boxing ego video maybe about a month ago. You know what I mean? And yeah, he does have whole tendencies. He does. You know, with the shit he's tried on this channel here. But he'll find a way, like, oh, like the Sean Porter uh, victory. See, at the beginning, Sean Porter was, oh, you know, Sean will beat Terrence Crawford and this, that, and the other. Sean Porter was winning on the scorecards. And when Terrence Crawford stopped him, something that Errol Spence couldn't do, right? When he stopped them, they had something to say. Oh, well, you know, he wouldn't fight in the same same uh, Porter as, as he was before. Really? Kenny Porter didn't fucking tell me that. Kenny Porter told me that Sean Porter was just not in the best particular uh, shape to beat Terrence Crawford because he never seen him beat in that way. Okay? 
So now it's his father saying that. But then you got these channels fat mouthing about Terrence Crawford. And it was brutal. Dude, I wish your mama should have swallowed you. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's pretty harsh. Even by my standards. But it just goes to show you, you keep fucking with people, there's pretty soon, they're going to lash back out at you. And Terrence Crawford ain't running, running from no fight. Danny Garcia did. Keith Thurman did. Errol Spence did. Damn near everybody on the PBC ran from that particular opportunity, except for Sean Porter. And then when Sean Porter fought him, they said it was an impaired Sean Porter or a weaker Sean Porter. So they tried to spin it that way. So they never give the man no credit. And Errol Spence is down throwing down millions and turning down millions like he's a fucking slave, which he probably is. Who knows? You know, because he didn't want that money. He didn't even want any part of that money. And Al Heyman told you, told him, don't take that money. So he didn't. And everybody still blamed Bud Crawford. And it's sickening. Then he should rip those guys apart. He should. You know, because guys like that, they only work for themselves. They only do what they can do for themselves. And that's that. That's what they do, you know, for their audience. If their audience changed, therefore they would change. They're, they will be overnight chameleons. Okay? But the audience that appeals to that type of content, that's where they go. So it's hand in hand. But that doesn't mean hard, talented fighters like Terrence Crawford needs to turn a blind eye for it any longer. He's letting them out. He's letting them know. Okay? And he should do that. And I applaud Terrence Crawford for doing that type of shit to those channels because that's all they do. Their narrative is simple. Let's diss Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford's not with Al Heyman. So anything Al Heyman does, we're going to ride with no matter what. I don't know if these guys are getting kickbacks or whatever the fuck. But that's what they do. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Terrence Bud Crawford ripping into Fanon and Boxing Ego. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!